Mr. President, Mr. President, it is with a heavy heart that I rise today to honor the life and legacy of Officer Stephen Arkell, a member of the Brentwood Police Department who was tragically killed last night in the line of duty. Citizens across New Hampshire are mourning the loss of Officer Arkell, whose bravery and courage represented the very best of our state's law enforcement community. Our hearts go out to his grieving family, to his friends, and to his fellow officers, as well, to, as, well as to the people of the town of Brentwood he served so well. We're holding them close to our hearts and keeping them all in our thoughts and our prayers during this very difficult time for not only the Brentwood community, but for the entire state of New Hampshire. Officer Arkell was an unsung hero. He went about his extraordinary work in a quiet, humble way, going above and beyond the call of duty to serve and protect the people of Brentwood and the people of New Hampshire. During his 15-year career as a police officer, he touched countless lives through his selfless service to the people of Brentwood proudly carrying on a noble profession. First and foremost, Officer Arkell was devoted to his family. Our hearts are broken for his wife, Heather, and their two teenage daughters. They are forced to cope with an unimaginable loss that no family should ever have to endure. We share in their sadness we will be there to comfort them as they mourn, all of us, the entire state of New Hampshire, and we will always stand by their side. We are grateful to them for the sacrifice that they have made to keep our state safe, for everything that they have done, and for what they have endured there is no way we can repay them for the sacrifice they have made to keep the state of New Hampshire safe. They've lost a great dad. I'd especially like to recognize Officer Arkell for his selfless time that he took to be a great coach. He coached lacrosse, teaching a new generation about teamwork and competition. He was exactly the kind of role model that any parent would want for their son or for their daughter. Officer Arkell was also someone whose friendship could be counted on. He has been described as a friend who would give you the shirt off his back, a man who was kind, ethical, and very caring. He was well-liked and well-respected in the community that he served. Sadly, this is not the first tragedy that we've seen in Rockingham County. Just last year, we added Greenland Police Chief Mike Maloney's name to the National Law Enforcement Memorial here in Washington, D.C. Our state continues to grieve for Chief Maloney. Unfortunately, Chief Maloney's death and the death last night of Officer Arkell reminds us of the dangerous work that our police officers do every single day on our behalf. They have no idea when they go out on nights, on weekends, on holidays, when we are all safe at home with our families, whether that next stop or whether that next response that they have to make will be their last. So we are grateful for the service of all of the police officers in New Hampshire and across this country who every day go out and serve our nation and keep us safe. And certainly, Officer Arkell represented the very, very best of our law enforcement community. And we're so sad today as we mourn his loss. And as we mourn the loss of Officer Arkell, I'm reminded of a quote that can be found at the Law Enforcement Memorial in Washington. The quote really sums this up. It is not how these officers died that made them heroes. It is how they lived. 
That is certainly true of Officer Steve Arkell. He was a special man who gave generously to his family, to his friends, to his community. It's a tragedy that has taken from us, tragedy that he was taken from us far too soon. This is a tragedy that no family should have to endure. And as we mourn his loss, we will pledge to forever honor his memory, his sacrifice, and the work that he did every single day on behalf of the people of Brentwood and the, on behalf of the people of the state of New Hampshire to keep us safe. We are grateful for his sacrifice. We can never repay the loss that his family has endured, nor can we ever repay the sacrifices that our police officers make every single day on our behalf to keep this country safe. Thank you, Mr. President.